Hi honeys, it's Michelle. In this video, I'm going to show you what I got at the Dollar Tree yesterday. I was really excited. We went on the road yesterday for my husband to go do his work. So we drove over to California and I was able to stop at a Dollar Tree in Fontana, California on the way home. And I wanted to show you what I got. The first thing I got was this brush here. And this is Dollar Tree brand. I just, I when I blow dry my hair and I'm going like this, the brush that I have is too big. It's from when my hair was so much longer. So I wanted something that was smaller that I could try. Just So we'll see how this works. And then I have fallen in love with this. This is the uh, Wet n Wild Mega Wear Mascara. I don't know what it is about Wet n Wild, but they really seem to have products that my uh, skin and my eyes don't react to. I don't know why. I can try mascara that's $30 for, for a, just one tube and I will have a reaction. But then I get this stuff at the Dollar Tree and I have no reaction. I'm not sure what that's about. But I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to keep using this. It's it's really nice, actually. It's got it says full healthy lashes, soy protein enriched with panthenol, enhance and define. And this is in very black. And I've got it on now. Okay. So that's what I have on right now, just so you can see it up close and personal. I mean, it doesn't look like I have false eyelashes on or anything, but it gives me a little bit of um, definition, I feel like. It makes my eyelashes a little bit thicker because they're not real thick. It doesn't make them look longer, and it does at least darken them because my eyelashes are the color of this the um, hair on my arms. It's like blonde, basically. Then I got these uh, Always No Feel Protection All Day Thin Mints Panty Liners. I really like these. They are my favorite ones. Let's see, do these ones have a fragrance? It doesn't say, let's just open it and see. Oh. I don't smell any fragrance, but these are 20, uh, a 20 pack for a dollar. And I just, I, I really like these. I have tried so many different organic ones and I feel like they kind of fall apart on me and the sticky part on the bottom seems to not stay sticky. So I end up, um, <laughs> I don't know if this is too graphic, but I end up with most panty liners that are natural feeling like I just have extra toilet paper in my underwear or something. That's how it ends up feeling just like this weird loose cotton thing. I'm, I'm just not a fan of it. So I started going back to what I used to use. And I've tried different ones, but these always ones are my favorite. I love how thin they are. You can keep them in, you can even keep them in your back pocket and nobody will know they're in there. Um, but on top of that, I find these little panty liners to be the most breathable ones, which to me, breathability is key. Then I found these, somebody uh, had these in one of their hauls and I thought this was a great idea. These are disposable gloves. And they're just the real big ones that, you know, you just, you wear them once and you toss them out. Um, but it says, one size fits all, protects hands while cleaning dishes, kitchens, bathrooms, floors, and other household chores. A hundred of them in here, so you get to 50 uses out of it. Okay, I found this LED push light. Super bright, 80 lumens, self-adhesive, push on and off. It requires three AA batteries, which are not included. But I just thought this would be really nice, especially when I'm talking to you guys, if I need some extra light in a certain area, and but just a little bit, not a whole lot, I thought this would be perfect. And it's even got this little hinge on it, so you can hang it up if you want, or I, I don't know, if you're, if you're out and you need light for some reason, you could probably put it on your finger, or shoot, you could put it on your necklace. <laughs> If, I mean, depending on what you're needing it for. 
but I just thought this was nice. It's also got this little thing on the bottom that you can take off and stick on the wall. Do you know what this might look cute on too? You know some of those arts and crafts where people, maybe they'll put like a bunch of little shiny things in a mason jar and light it up. This might be cute if you put it on the top of the mason jar and had it angled down. It would kind of light everything up in there. So I think there's a bunch of different things this could be used for, but for me it'll probably be for when I'm doing YouTube videos. We'll see how it works and I'll, I'll let you know what I think later. Then I got some of these uh, Reynolds Wrap foil sheets. They're the pre-cut pop-up ones. And you get 25 of these for a dollar. And I just love these. I find that when I buy Reynolds Wrap in the traditional box, I grab way too much. And then I end up wasting it. With these, I feel like I'm going through a lot less foil. And they're nice and thick. If you want, you can even um, clean them. I sometimes, depending on if it's something I can easily clean off, I'll just clean it with some vinegar, just straight vinegar, and, and then I get to reuse them. But I find these to be the best ones. Okay, and I did get a couple of these I Am's Perfect Portions um, Healthy Adult Chicken Recipe Cat Food. My cats really like this stuff. And it is cheaper at Walmart. You can get 12 of them for $10.99 as opposed to a dollar each. However, the savings isn't so huge that I'll never buy these at the Dollar Tree again. And if I'm not planning on going to Walmart in the next few days and I'm almost out of cat food, you know I'm always at the Dollar Tree. So why not go ahead and get a couple of them? So I did. I got a couple of these. And then I got this. This, uh, this is a two-pack of the Erasable Highlighters. And this is the Ink brand. And these are, well, it's actually really a Dollar Tree brand, but these are really good. So I got this word search at the Dollar Tree. And yesterday on that road trip that we were on, I went ahead and did some uh, puzzles. And I did the first one in pencil and I didn't really like that and I thought well a highlighter would be nice so I used the highlighter on the second one and I thought it was wonderful and I I like it because it doesn't bleed through either that's how nice this word search is it's a little bit of a thicker paper but I wanted to show you too that this actually works so I'm just going to highlight right here Hang on, back on. Let me put the top back on the pen. <laughs> and then there's this little guy here. And this is how you erase it. Oh, sorry. I guess this angle isn't as good as in the car. But you see how it erased it? Now apparently if you hold it at that weird angle, it doesn't work as well. But in the car yesterday... This line here went all the way to the B and I erased it. And you see how you can't even see that it was there. But I think this would be good for something like this. Maybe if you do some lines that you want to erase. But also, when I was in college, I used to buy the used textbooks. And they'd already have a bunch of highlighting in them. I don't know if this would work on other highlighters or if it has to be these particular ones that you can erase but it might be worth a try if you're in college also when i was in college um, i found that i would over highlight and then wish i hadn't so this would even be nice for something like that where you could just go through and say oh i don't need that sentence highlighted or whatnot and just erase it so i think these are really handy and they do actually work which i found to be quite exciting so often with things like this you think Okay, that sounds too good to be true, but this particular one really isn't too good to be true. Okay, I made these years ago uh, for Christmas for everybody in my family, and I had used these as little emergency packs for purses where, um, so you have a button on the top that you can use to close them, and then inside um, I had put you know, band-aids and alcohol wipes and just all kinds of little emergency items. I've had these 
for so long that over the years I've discovered that, well, as you can see, I still have some jewelry in here from the last time I went traveling. Apparently just left it all in there. But <clears throat> you can put vitamins or medication in these. You, you could put them, you know, use a little emergency pack kind of thing for your purse. Or you can put jewelry in these. They're just really handy and you can use them for so many things. And my mom, I had made them for everybody in my family. My mom requested that I make her another one. So I wanted to go ahead and do that. Now I'm going to try to find the DIY video that originally inspired me to do these. But it had to be at least five years ago. So I don't know if it's still out there. But what I used to make them were these pot holders from the Dollar Tree. So this is the color that I got for her. So what I'll do is... Then I got some Glad um, double seal sandwich bags, and there's 22 in a pack for a dollar. So let me just open this up here. So what you do is you layer these inside, then you sew across, and then cut off the excess. And you do however many little packets you want. But I thought these, now originally I used the Dollar Tree brand little Ziploc bags. And uh, honestly, they're still holding up fine all these years later. But I don't travel as much as my mom does. So she probably needs something a little bit heavier duty. So that's why I got the Glad brand. I was thinking that this might work a little better for her. And I like that it turns green when it's closed. So that way she'll know if it's secure or not. That's what I got these for and these bags for. So yeah, if I do find the original video, I will link it down in the description box. And that way you can see how I made them. So while I was over in the pot holder section, I saw something that I just really kind of fell in love with. I, In my kitchen, I have, um, it's red and white and black with, like copper. I have those little old copper, um, what are they called? Jello tins or, or uh, molds. I have them on the wall and I just, I've been wanting, I, I was going to do with black, white, and red with like the, the copper and then some cats. But lately I've been feeling like I wanted to go more of a Italian route and that way it kind of feels like I want to cook more when I'm in the kitchen because I've been getting more into cooking lately ever since uh, the lockdowns started. And so I wanted to kind of change a little bit of that with the way that my kitchen looks. Not that I won't leave the cats in there too because cats are always welcome. But I wanted to get these because I just think these look so perfect for the feel I'm going for. And eventually I even want to get plates that have like that you know the kind of plates that when you go to an Italian restaurant, those that you eat off of? That's kind of what I want, like that cozy, old Italian feel plates. But I got these. And one thing I really like about these, I mean, you do have to be a little bit careful. If something's really hot, don't use these. But most of the time, if something's under 450 degrees or at or under, I use these and they work fine. But what I love about these, since they're from the Dollar Tree, it's so easy to just throw them in the wash as much as I want. And after a couple of years, they usually start to fall apart. But I've been using these for years. And I end up regretting whenever I buy the more expensive ones at other stores. But then I found this to go with it. This is a cutting board. And I just love that. I just think this is so cute. Now this cutting board, what I'm probably going to do is put this on the counter in front of my little coffee station. And that way when I'm making coffee, I can put it on here. And it just seems like it might be a little bit easier. That way if anything spills over, it's on here instead of the counter. And I feel like this kind of surface is easier to clean off than the counter. And if I want, I can pick it up and take it over to the sink and clean it. These and this and they had them in um what was the other one it was kind of like a, a turquoise color with like white swishes on it i really like this it is so pretty 
And it does have the little non-skid stickies on the back too. And this is Dollar Tree brand. And I have been taking a lot of baths lately and just kind of creating this whole environment in the bathtub where it feels like I'm at the ocean. And it, I don't know, I just find it really relaxing. And one thing that I've been doing is drinking some wine when I'm in the bath. And I like stemless wineware. However, in the bathtub, I find that that doesn't work as well. So I wanted something that had the actual stem on it. And when I saw this, it just seemed perfect. It feels like this blue color makes me feel, it's like got that beachy, cozy, comforting feel. And um, yeah, I just thought this was nice and pretty. It's nice and heavy. It feels like it's made well. Um, this is not Dollar Tree brand. This is Cristar brand from Islip, New York. Well, that's where it's distributed from. It's made in Colombia. Now, this is actually um, a water goblet, it says, in sky blue, 13 ounces. But I'll be using it for wine. <laughs> found some more of these little cookbooks. The store I went to had really no book section. It was the smallest one I've probably ever seen, but I was able to still find two of these little uh, flower pot press cookbooks that I've been collecting. So this one is salads, and I saw a few that just looked so yummy. Let's see, let me give you an example here. They have a wedge salad. apple walnut salad. I saw an ambrosia in here. Quinoa and kale. Just all kinds of stuff. Ooh, a caprice salad. That would be yummy. And then I got this summer cooking one. And this one has delightful meals like chicken and pineapple kebabs. They even had one. I don't know where it went. Let's see. Spicy mushroom lettuce wrap. Mm. Cucumber radish salad. Grilled vegetables with feta. That just sound good. I mean, just, I love these little things. And they look so cute on my counter. I've got them all sitting there together. And I just think it's adorable. In fact, maybe I'll take a picture and show you. Okay, moving on to the food. Oh, before I get to the food, though, I wanted to tell you. So it's weird because in California, they have these nice thick bags. They're 100% recyclable, hand washable, sustainable, and they're reusable. And so I've been keeping these and reusing them when I go to the Dollar Tree's here. But here's the crazy part. I have seen quite a few people now mention that they're getting charged for bags at the Dollar Tree. Um, my mom has been doing Dollar Tree videos lately and she mentioned it as well that they've charged her for her bags. Um, but I will also link her Dollar Tree video down in the description box as well if you want to see my mom and give her a little support. Uh, but it was so weird because here, these are really nice, expensive bags, and these were free. I didn't have to pay for it. So I'm not understanding what's going on with that, but I wanted to mention it because if you are a Dollar Tree shopper, you might want to keep your eye out on whether or not they're charging for bags, and if so, you might want to bring your own or get the reusable ones or, or what have you. So I just kind of wanted to let you know about that. Something to look out for. Then I got these. I got these for our road trip home. I wasn't sure if we were going to get hungry or not, but we ended up getting lunch, so. But that's okay. We will try these later. But these are H.K. Anderson peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets. And let me check. Let's see. 
The expiration date is December 17th, 2020. It says these are distributed in Chicago, Illinois, but where are they made? I don't know. Which I, I don't like that. I don't like it when places don't tell me where stuff is made. I'm just starting to pay more attention to that. Looking at the front of these, I wasn't, I was kind of in a rush, so I didn't pay attention to the ingredients, but they're not as natural as I was hoping they would be. Um, one of my big concerns is sodium. I'm trying to stay under 10% sodium and these have 14%. So I don't even know if I'll eat these, but you never know. I mean, it's just a little bag, so I guess it wouldn't hurt too much to eat them sometime, but I'm a little disappointed in the ingredients if I'm honest with you. <laughs> okay. And then I found these, these are the hundred percent natural Hunt's San Marzano style garlic, olive oil, and basil whole peeled potatoes. I'm sorry, whole peeled tomatoes. <laughs> Isn't that, I mean, that looks so good. And these, so this is a, a name brand. I do really like these. I like to get these and cut them up for if I make uh, sauce from scratch, which I do sometimes, or if I'm making stew, or if I'm making some of my vegetables that I like, um, where I mix a bunch of vegetables and, and cook them. Uh, that's what I use these for, but these are usually about $3 at the grocery store. So I was very excited to find them for a dollar. I mean, cause this is the big can, not the, the smaller can 28 ounces. These are made in Illinois. And just to let you know, the ingredients are tomatoes, tomato juice, onions, water, salt, garlic, tomato paste, citric acid, olive oil, basil, and parsley. So they're nice and natural too. So there you go. My favorite um, spaghetti sauce tends to be <clears throat> Hunt's, Prego, Ragu. I don't know. I For a long time, I was getting the more expensive pasta sauce, and I just started craving what I had as a kid and, and what my grandma used to make her lasagna with and that kind of stuff. And, and that, that's more of your Prego or Ragu or Hunt's kind of sauce. And so I started using that again and I just love it. It just feels like I'm going back to my grandma's kitchen again. And so I did get another one of these because we used the last one, the Hunt's garlic and herb. We just love this stuff. It's, it's so yummy. Um, I don't have a problem with any of the ingredients. This is also made at the same place that the um, tomatoes I just showed you were made. This expires December 16th of 2021. Then I found this Columbia brand of uh, Rotini noodles. And this is a nice big box of it. This is made in New Jersey. And I really like this pasta. I've had it before. And now this box is one pound, eight ounces. So what I usually do, see up here it even says 50% free. What I do with a box this big is I only use half of it. And then I'll use the sauce. And then I'll throw in, um, well, if it's just me, that's what I do. If Brad is home and he's not on his um, business trips, I'll throw in meatballs or sausage or something like that. But it's just a nice, easy, uh, cheap meal. I figured I should get a second pasta sauce to go with it since I'm only going to be using half of the box. And I'm looking around and they have my favorite Prego there now. I don't know. And it's in this can instead of the jar, which is fine with me. Um, it's the meat flavored pasta sauce. They have it at the Dollar Tree now. And I was just absolutely delighted. And it's got the top that you can just pull off. So you don't have to mess around with, uh, opening it up. It's got a recipe for sausage and pasta, which works really well because that's usually sausage or meatballs is what I throw in there. So I might just try the recipe and see how that works out. This is made in New Jersey. 
This expires May 6th of 2022, and I just love this stuff. Now, I will say this does have some more ingredients in it that I tend to avoid, but I'll eat it anyway because it's the Prego meat sauce that I love so much, but I try to not eat it as often as I might something a little bit more natural like this. So Then I got some more of these. These are my favorite saltine crackers. I like them more than what I've been getting at the grocery store. I just love the flavor of these. And I think that I'm a um, saltine connoisseur. <laughs> I just love saltines. I put them in a lot of different things. These are the Lil Dutch Made brand. And they're made in the USA in Abilene, Texas. They don't have the nasty corn syrup in them. And I'm really happy about the sodium level. It's only 6%, so it's under my 10 that I try to stick with. And guess what they went and did? Now they have a full-size box with four sleeves in it. For the longest time, these have only had two sleeves in them for a dollar. Now we're getting the full size, which I am not going to complain about. I mean, these are three or four dollars for four sleeves at the grocery store. So I'm, I'm just really excited about that. And these expire May 4th of 2021. Then I found the highly coveted Lucky Charms with Frosted Flakes. I don't know, it looks like when somebody was opening the box that came in, they kind of slit this, but the bag hasn't been messed with. But this is a full-size box. This is not one of those little ones that you can see sometimes at the Dollar Tree. It's a full box. I like Lucky Charms a lot. They remind me of my grandpa. He was a Lucky Charms fanatic. And um, so it just, since he passed away recently, it's nice to have something like this to make me think of him and kind of go down memory lane a little bit. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying these. And one thing I wanted to mention about these, they only have 10 grams of sugar per serving, which I find kind of wild. I mean, there's a lot of drinks that you can get that are over 25 grams of sugar. So I just thought that was crazy because people tend to think of Lucky Charms as being nothing but sugar. And it's actually quite a bit lower than soda or a lot of the drinks that we buy. So just wanted to throw that out there. And one thing I really like too is they have a bunch of vitamins and minerals added to it. I don't know. We've been on quite the... Um, <laughs> Cereal kick lately ever since we got the um, Good Belly peanut butter um, cereal, which we love. We've just been eating a lot more cereal here, which, hey, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, for a dollar, I could not believe this. These are usually, what, $3.50, $4 at the grocery store for this size? I was really excited to see these. And then I wanted to throw um, some reviews in every once in a while, just at the end of the videos. Um, <laughs> I wanted to review this. See, it's all wilty. Do you remember these little guys that they had at the Dollar Tree that had these little things in them? I got one and I... Did you see the water coming out of it? I just fell in love with this. I thought it was so fun. It really helps with my anxiety being able to watch the little balls go you know move through the water i don't know why but it's just so therapeutic for me so i fell in love with this and then it fell apart right away i don't know if you see like all these little white crusty things on there from the fluid that's in there but i tried so hard to be as gentle with it as i could because um i had heard a couple of people say their kids you know are so rough with them that they break them so i was really gentle with this and it still leaks and so I think that's why they're at the Dollar Tree instead of, because people had been buying them at the Walmart for $10. I think that's why they're a dollar at the Dollar Tree now is they just bring a leak really quick. They're kind of sticky. So um, with my cats being here, a lot of cat hair sticks to them. I guess they might make good lint removers though, but only until... <laughs> They get a hole and then obviously you don't want to use it as a, a lint remover. But 
Yeah, so I was kind of disappointed that I fell so in love with this and then it fell apart so fast. <clears throat> okay, that is it for my Dollar Tree haul. I hope that you enjoyed watching today. Thank you for watching. I, I'm going to be going out this weekend. I have an idea for a haul that I wanted to do of certain things to put together for something. So that should be showing up soon as long as I find most of what I'm looking for, which I'm sure I will. We'll see. But hopefully that comes out this weekend. <laughs> um, I've got a clothing video for tomorrow. I wanted to show you some clothes that I got at Walmart. Marty. <laughs> Marty's excited about what I got. He's rubbing all over everything. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> I hope you have a great rest of your day. I love you. Bye. What are you doing? <laughs>